Unos, dos, tres. Bienvenidos a Colombia. All right, guys, welcome back to the Wingman Podcast. Today is a very different and interesting show today. Uh, our good friend David Bond, who is on our last podcast, he has built a harem. He has built this interesting dating dynamic of... I don't know what you can call it. Just a bunch of girlfriends, like a dozen. Like It's kind of like a revolving door of girlfriends coming in and out. It's crazy. Now, here we have five of his beautiful, beautiful girlfriends. We have his lovely assistant, Veronica. A, uh, <laughs> I started speaking Spanish. Um, and then we also have four of his beautiful girlfriends. So first, before we jump in, let's all introduce ourselves. Hablas inglés? No inglés? Yes. So Veronica is going to be our translator, our traductor. Veronica traductora. is David's assistant. And so she actually comes on dates with David and translates for him. Now, she's going to translate for us. Now, I have a lot of questions because I've been very curious. Can you, can you tell them? I've been very curious about the dynamic you'll have with David. Bueno, él dice que tiene muchas preguntas, que él tiene mucha curiosidad acerca de cómo funciona la dynamic entre nosotras y con David. What, first of all, what's it like being one of David's girlfriends? What's the, <laughs> How does it feel to be one of David's girlfriends? ¿Qué se siente ser una de las novias de David? Bueno, se siente tantas cosas en inglés. No, obviamente. Oh, okay, si quieres. Okay. En español. En español está bien. She's trying to make a translate to the voice. En español es bien. En español, you can translate, right? Oh, no? <laughs> dale, dale en español yo traduzco. Pues se siente una experiencia súper única, ya que nunca había compartido este algún momento con tantas chicas al mismo tiempo y con un chico. Entonces, pues siento que. Uh, she said that it's a unique experience because she never um, was with these too many girls and also with a guy, and she feels like really good about it. So she likes it. Oh. Yeah, she likes it. Entonces, digamos que es una experiencia eh, maravillosa porque cada día vivimos algo nuevo, vivimos este momentos increíbles. Entonces, pues, este para mí ha sido una experiencia súper chévere. She said that she liked the fact that we always have new experience together, that we share all the time. Like, it's wonderful for her. That she enjoyed a lot. Cool. Yes. All right. ¿Alguna más quiere responder? Um, the girls and David is so amazing for the moments, uh, the experience. Um, it's a great um, people, the girls and David. So it feels like a big happy family and everyone yeah. loves each other. But sometimes yeah. there's drama, poquito dramatico. <laughs> it's women's yeah. drama, hormonal thing. It's normal, but at the end of the end, on the, on the, end, on the other day, we love each other and we keep together. Wow, yes. that's cute. I like it. And what, what do you think? She said that it's something different that she never tried before. Wow. It's like be around all that girls and this experience. So how she says it's, it's different, but it's nice. Um, me gusta lo que vivo a diario porque cada día y cada encuentro es algo diferente. Además de que todas nos llevamos súper bien y, y David hace que nosotras siempre nos sintamos súper cómodas. Excelente ambiente laboral. <laughs> <laughs> Pero no es meme, ¿ok? <laughs> uh, yeah, she said that um, we love each other and David always makes us feel like great every time. Just like he's always thinking how we make them feel good, what they will enjoy, and yeah, it's what she said. Wow, it's I I want to join the harem. <laughs> <laughs> I want to join the harem too. What the fuck? Okay. También Matt, también. Okay. Oh man, it's so funny. <laughs> so, Veronica, a question for you. Okay. So, when you first met David, is it true that he blocked you? <laughs> he blocked me like four times. He blocked me for Instagram, for my real Instagram. Also, I have a second one. He blocked me for that one. He blocked me for two <laughs> WhatsApp. And at the end, here we are six months later working. 
Why? <laughs> Why did he block you? <sighs> okay. Um, before to meet David, I was working at the center in a store of makeup and products to take care and all the stuff for women. I am a makeup artist always, uh, also. And um, I was telling him that I want to work with him. For me, it was like so interesting. To be honest, before to see his ads for I need assistant in Cali, I see too many times he asked for uh, you are in Cali, uh, date with me. But I was like, hmm, that's weird. But And then I just talk talk with him for his ad for work and how i told him i was working a lot so i have to work like seven days at uh at the week and i start at 9 a.m and i finish like eight was the whole day but also i wants to work with him and he said no you don't have time for me block and it's just like that he's so impatient sometimes so he didn't have time for you so he blocked you yes he was like you don't have time to be my assistant so block so he just blocked you yeah how did that make you feel like, when he was like, no, 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 I, I feel that this is something different. This is something that I want. So let's talk for my other Instagram. Hey, baby, let's talk. So black again. Then I talk for Ara. What's happening? So you got his number. How did you get his phone number? Uh, I remember that in my first Instagram, he sent me the number oh, before to okay. block me. Wow. And I just talked for my WhatsApp. And he said again, like, but you don't have the time to be my assistant. Why are you texting me? Black again. And... Then for the last one, I was like, no, hey, let's try. Let's go out. Let's meet. And I remember that we make a video call. And he was like, no, I don't want to go out. It's too late. And he's always scared to be out with a, a girl. He always, was, always wants to be with someone he can meet, like mm -hmm. one of the girls and the other new girl. He was like, mm, I am not sure. And then I make a video call with him like, hey, let's go out. Let's meet. Make an interview something. And yeah. Wow. And he said, okay, let's work. And also, uh, this is what my boss, don't know my ex was. The next day I say that I was sick because he told me the day that I meet, like, hey, uh, I need a new apartment. I need a new place to stay. So I tell my boss that I was sick. And the whole day I was looking for places for him to show him that I really want to work, work wow. with him. Yes. And I think that that was one of the things that he said, okay, let's give her an opportunity. So you were very serious. You really wanted the opportunity to work I with I mean, David. if I want it, I got it. No, I cool. All right. <laughs> yes. Dedicated. Dedicated. Yes. Yeah. Cool. <clears throat> That's really crazy. So how did the rest of you meet David? ¿Cómo conocieron a David? Cada una cuenta cómo fue su, su experiencia. <laughs> Por medio de otra chica eh, de, que es del grupo de nosotras, este, ya me etiquetó en Instagram y pues David me escribió. Yes, we have one of the girls here. She's not here. She's called it Fernanda, right? Sí. Fernanda. And mm -hmm. she tagged her in Instagram. So oh, wow. David see her in text. Yes. Cool. She was like that. Por medio de Instagram. Y un mensaje que él tiene. Y ya empezamos a hablar. For her ad. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes, she tagged. Yo vi como publicidad en Instagram. At. Y pues yo ya había visto que le había salido con una persona que yo sigo también. Y pues me dio curiosidad y lo empecé a seguir y ahí él me escribió. Yeah, she see uh, David with a friend of her before and she wow. was like curious so she texts in that. Yeah. Um, yo nunca vi una publicidad de David hasta que no lo conocí. Entonces, eh, la forma en que lo conocí fue por medio de una publicación de una amiga mía que había salido con él. Entonces ahí fue como que empecé a investigar y fui yo la que le hablé. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she never see before an ad before to meet him, but one of her friends go out with David and she was like wondering what happened and she takes him like, hey, what are you doing? Oh, wow. That's the way. So you each have an individual mm -hmm. story. Yes. So Veronica, how many are you? How many what? How many girlfriends does David have? <laughs> <laughs> we have too many girls in the group. <laughs> really? How? At least like uh, 15. Girls. 15 yes and they girlfriends. start to come and sometimes they leave and more girls new girls it's like oh justin shit. we need to step over again what the fuck so in virgin no it's a problem <laughs> no. In, in comparison though like wow that's so insane how does how does it um well that's my personal assistant yeah that's, that's the next level so david says he goes on dates with two or three or four girls together yes you know how does that work What's it like, like going on dates with him? Yeah, it, you know, I've seen you go on dates with David uh, because, I mean, you translate for him and he's on dates with two or th three other girls. Like, how, how does that work? Okay, first I will explain that. Sure. 
Él me está diciendo que básicamente cómo funcionan las citas con David, que él porque a veces me lleva a mí para traducir y porque a veces las lleva a ustedes, cómo funciona eso. Entonces yo le voy a explicar básicamente que hay como dos cosas. Una, obviamente él quiere como traducción y no sé qué, pero por otro lado él realmente quiere mostrar a la pelada como ve, a esto te estás enfrentando, somos tantas, a esto venís, así funciona el grupo. Que okay, eso es lo que le voy a decir. Sí. Ok. Um, basically, to be honest, it's like a two ways. I mean... I know David always invite me because to translate and make his life easy, basically. I mean, I order and I do, I do everything for him. But also, I think that the reason that he invite girls with him, his girlfriends, is like try to show the new girl like, hey, this is how it actually works, you know? Like, I am always with girls, like try to keep the vibe, keep the, the dynamic. I think this is it. Oh, okay. Yes. Does it, is it ever awkward or like, ha, have, have any of the girls here Uh, go on a first date with David and there's other girls there? Eh, todas ustedes han salido con David en citas y con chicas nuevas para conocer. Sí. Eh, I, want, I want to hear your experience. Que él quiere escuchar cómo fue su experiencia saliendo en una cita con David con una chica que apenas estaba llegando. Pues aquí, eh, pues, este. <laughs> you can. Um, digamos que... Um, la he pasado bien porque este, han llegado chicas que eh, como que han conectado con, con nosotros de, de una, entonces pues digamos que la he pasado bien. She said that uh, she's having a, a really nice time, good time, because all the girls that is come to the group is like a nice girl, girls who kept the dynamic and she feels comfortable. Ahora, explícale, no, le explícale básicamente cuál fue tu experiencia saliendo en una cita con David con una chica nueva. O sea, ¿qué pasó en esa cita? Ah, oh, ok. <risa> pues salimos, este, ¿algo explícito? Básicamente me puse a hacer lo mismo. Sí. <risa> eh, salimos a un restaurante, comimos, eh, ya después fuimos al apartamento de David y pues sí, pasaron muchas cosas. <laughs> okay, she said that basically she uh, go out with David with this new girl, and they have the dinner, they talk each other, they meet in, and then they went to David's apartment. Happens too many things there. So lots of crazy things happen. Crazy yeah. things. Si, si fluyó esa conexión, no? Si fluyó esa conexión, si pasan cosas. Yes, she, that she says right. It's like. No always is like happen that crazy stuff. I mean, mm -hmm. only if David and the girl feels like that vibe and that environment. She's okay. like, okay, let's do so there it. has to be like a connection. Exactly, chemistry. exactly. Okay. Always, always he talk about that. And even David have a rule and he's like, um, we have a group. And the most important thing is all the girls feels good. Harmony. Each other's like it. I mean, I don't want girls that to say, I don't like this girl. And she's acting like, hey. I'm so a group no. like a WhatsApp group? Or Telegram yes, group? Yes, we have Telegram group. You have a Telegram friends. group. What, yeah. What's in the Telegram group? Can you explain what, what the Telegram group is about? Uh, I mean, we have a WhatsApp group, and in Telegram room, it's basically for send pictures and videos. But in the mm -hmm. WhatsApp group, it's for all the girls. We talk, we plan the, the things that we're going to do, mm -hmm. uh, share pictures. Share everything. So so when you plan things to do, it's like group date, dates with David. Uh-huh. Nice. So let's talk about that. What are, what are some things that you guys do in your group dates? Listo. I, I would say that. <coughs> bueno, él me está preguntando que básicamente nosotras qué hacemos cuando salimos con David. Como que cuáles son los planes, cómo sucede. Quiero que alguno de ustedes como que hable y cuente y yo le traduzco para que yo no esté hablando todo el tiempo. Um, eh, no, todos los planes eh, son diferentes. Always ¿Sí? is different plans. Sí, siempre en, en cualquier plan la pasamos súper bien. ¿sí? All the plans are funny. Eh, vamos a cenar o a caminar por la ciudad o vamos a... A David le gusta mucho salir también temprano, ¿sí? No es mucho <risa> sí. de, de salir tan tarde, pero a él le gusta mucho los planes en, en, en la tarde, salir de pronto a almorzar, luego a caminar y así. Yes, he likes a lot of the plans to go like early, like no late at night, like go for dinners, go restaurant, like places, take pictures. Uh, he's like really nice with us. He always is buying things for us. Cool. Yes. That's fun. So he's always taking care of you. He's always, uh, you know, showing you guys good times. And yes. He's always good like, experiences. Veronica, the girls are okay, what they want, everything's okay. And he's always, the, the question that he always made is like, Veronica, 
help me to think what plan is the best for the girls. I mean, I want the girls to have fun. Think like a girl. What is one of the best plans that they can invite me? And I was like, he's so sweet about that. So it, it, it feels like just he really cares about each and every one of you. So it's, you guys have this very like wholesome family group dynamic where yeah. everyone cares about each other. Mm -hmm. So l let me ask you this. When there's like drama or fighting or, you know, a little bit of drama in the group, how, how does, how do you guys handle that? I mean, we don't have too many of that. And always is because it's, um, I don't know. Okay, let me look at next idea. <laughs> um, when we have problems or something like that, it's always because the girls don't want to be like in peace, you know? And it's because, okay, what do you feel? What's the problem? So we just stuck. And usually all the girls want to be feel and keep that harmony and that peace in the group. So when it's like a fight, it's always because a girl uh, mm -hmm. wants to start that. Okay. Fighting. So what happens when a girl starts a fight? But we don't have, like, violence or something, okay. like, really big fights. It's no. just emotional drama. Yes, like, for example, um, I think most of the time can be, like, like that one of the girls don't understand what they say. Um, that might make sound on the mic. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Open it. Open it. Entonces, si la mayoría del tiempo es como... Good. <laughs> oh, no. <I> <laughs> oh. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's a little prank. A D D David told me to prank. Do you know about that? Yes. Oh, you knew about it? Yes. Uh, I, uh, I was pranked the most out of anyone here. I was freaking out. I'm like, I, I think the girls knew. They know. No. They didn't know about it? <laughs> I'm like, so Dave, you're going to make me edit these, like, eating sounds? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. I am hungry. Tienes <laughs> hambre. Yeah. la tapita? That's so funny. What was the question? <laughs> so, I have another question. What are the David questions that he asks on some dates? David asks the David questions. What is yes, that? Yes, we have the David questions. So, Ah, bueno, él me está preguntando que cuáles son las preguntas de David, porque yo siempre le hago las más preguntas a las chicas cuando salimos más de una de ustedes ya saben básicamente que es. Bueno, uh, David questions is actually the kind of question that David always ask to know more about the girl and to know why the girl wants to be with him. Like, what's what's in her mind about him? Um, you want me to know to tell the sure. question? Sure. Okay. The first question always is three things that you hate about a man, personality, and three, three things that you love. Also, um, what make her wants to meet him? Like, what was the thing, the picture, or why? Stuff like that, yes. And I love one of the questions that he made. He's always like, tell me what's your dream, and tell me how I can help you to come true. Wow. Yeah. That's so, like, a roman muy yeah, romántico. Like, yes. Wow, okay. So... I feel like that makes girls on the first date feel very comfortable with yes. David and the whole dynamic. He has these skills in dates. Mm. Like you can tell okay. when you're there and you're like, hmm, I it's know what you're doing. It's <laughs> a little bit smooth. It's a little bit suave. Yes. Okay. All right. That sounds interesting. Cool. And um, I want to be asked those questions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some some people online. Oh, I, I forgot yeah. one question. Yeah, Sorry. Sure. One of the questions that I m like the most because from that way, David know how creative is the girl and mm. how she's personality is. You can ask me one question, but the only rule is like, can't be bored. Mm. And she can ask whatever she wants, whatever she wants. Yes. Wow. So he gives you the option to ask him whatever. No matter what, he's open to respond. Cool. Yes. I like it. So online, David has a large audience, right? Like he, he has a YouTube channel, you know, he has lots of like different groups and lots of fans, but he also has a lot of haters, yes. right? And so 
a lot of people online, they spread gossip and rumors. Because, I mean, I have a big YouTube channel too. And the same thing happens with me. Yeah, a lot of people say- Lovers and haters. Yeah, of course, right? Normal. But a lot of people say that David pays prostitutes or, <laughs> or pays girls. What, what do you have to say to that? Does David pay you guys, wait, girls? Wait, wait. I have something really funny to say about that, but first okay. I'll say. <laughs> Dice, chicas, en, en YouTube siempre tiene haters que le dicen como que no, es que vos le pagas a las peladas para estar ahí, que no sé qué. <laughs> okay, this is really funny because- I am his assistant. I am no more a girlfriend. And all these girls, they don't pay anything. I mean, he is like real special with them. Buy pizza, what they want to eat, where they want to go, what drink, everything. It's like that's the way that he pay for her company. I mean, it's like a half a good moment. And the only girl that he pay, it's me. And he don't fuck with me. Okay. <laughs> it's like I'm his, only his assistant. Well, not anymore. Uh, no anymore, yes. Before I was one of the girlfriends, okay. but I'm just a season. Wow. He's like paying me to don't fuck with him, something. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yes. So um, it, it really is like David is like each of the girl's boyfriend. It's like taking care of everybody. Like, because that's what a boyfriend will do is take you on dates, take you to the movies and película, to dinner, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. take care, make sure you get home safe. So I'm curious, is there no jealousy that happens? Jealousy? Uh, no. Because no jealousy? All the girls are bisexual, so they like David. They like the girl. Why do you feel jealous? Really? Bi, bi girls only. <laughs> yes, that was one of the rules. <laughs> only bi girls. So bisexuality is a requirement. Mm -hmm. <coughs> David, I'm bi curious. Can I join the harem? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, crazy. <laughs> so, um, the other night, I was at the nightclub. Like, we were at the, uh, the club the other night. Um, it's uh, 1060. 1060. Right? Right. Espacio 1060. Right. And I met a girl. Uh -huh. And she <laughs> I remember that starts girl. I was screaming. Really she starts screaming about David. She, you heard this? I didn't know you were there. Yes, the, the, uh, with the red blouse, right? Yes, yes. yes. And I so remember this because girl, I was close and she was like talking for, like for two hours about David. I was like, I come to her I was talking about David. So, so Matt, how long was she talking to you for? Um, like 20 minutes. So she was talking to Matt for 20 minutes about David. And then I started talking to her. She was talking to me for 20 minutes about David. She <laughs> didn't know that David's girlfriends were in were no? with us. She, she had no idea they were with really? us. She didn't know that you that you girls were, were there. That was and random. I, yeah. I think it's a random her, girl. I think I told her that you were a dating coach and you make YouTube videos about like uh -huh. that. And then she's like, she's like, oh, uh, um, you better not be one of those guys. There's this guy named David. He's in Cali. Okay. <laughs> And so this girl was yelling at Matt for 20 minutes and then yelling at me for another 20 minutes about how she hates David. She thinks he's a manipulator. She thinks he's misogynist and machista. Takes advantage of naive girls. He, he says that he says that on one hand, he's saying that he's manipulating girls who aren't intelligent, but then he's also saying that he pays prostitutes. So he's saying he's manipulating girls who aren't David smart. David never pay a prostitute. I, need, I mean, he has too many girls. He doesn't need that. And also, it's like with David, I told him too many times, with you, there is no uh, medium. It's like they love you or they hate you. That's it. So this girl had never even met David. She was one of the girls that he blocked. Really? Yeah. So she, they never uh, even met. They never that's met. So, funny. so she she obviously was you know rationalizing or creating a story in her own head. But what what, what do the girls think of that? Like, what do you, do the girls feel manipulated by David? Él me pregunta que si nosotros, aún es que esta pelada decía que él toma ventaja a las muchachas que paga prostitutas y que además él es un manipulador emocional. <laughs> Yo creo que primero lo manipulamos nosotras. No. <laughs> Qué horrible. 
Que busque un psicólogo. Si <risa> needs therapy, the girl needs therapy. <risa> Pero ustedes qué piensan de eso, que lo. The girl no. needs therapy. Oh. That girl needs therapy. I she mean, she therapy. never date him and she's talking about how he yeah. is. I mean, for like 40 that minutes. Don't, that don't have sense. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I was like, yeah. I was like, mucho gusto. She's like, oh, mucho gusto. And I'm like, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> how you start to talk with her about David? I mean, how was the, the Matt, first step? Matt brought me over and he's like, Uh, she knows David. Ella, no, like, Ella no conoce a David. Da David. Mm -hmm. and, and then she starts like, screaming at me about David. She's like, ah, David is a machista. Oh <laughs> David is a manipulador. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh Relax. <my> <laughs> Relax. <laughs> tranquila, <laughs> tranquila. Tranquila. Entiendo, Tómate entiendo. un shot. <laughs> <laughs> y vete. That's like the third, the third time, too, though, in, in Las So Fortes. the crazy thing is that's the third girl I met who said that she's seen David's ads and doesn't like David. But I, I think a lot of girls are seeing his ads because he's, he's being seen by a lot of people, mm -hmm. but a lot of girls don't like it. But then a lot of girls like you love it, right? So it's like the people who don't like him, don't like him. But the people, like the people who don't like him, hate him. Yes, people I mean, like him, love no him. Like you girls. It's yeah. no medium. It's like you love or you hate. Mm, that's it. Makes sense. <laughs> makes sense. Yeah, okay. So... This is gonna be a bit quite crazy question. What's the biggest orgy? Because you're 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 David's assistant. What's like the most girls you've seen him with at one time? Bueno, me está preguntando que cuál ha sido la orgía más grande que yo le he visto de él. O sea, cuántas peladas al mismo tiempo? Como ocho. Yeah, she's right. Like eight. Eight girls. Yes. Eight girls. What What's the uh, biggest date that you girls have been on together? With the big date? Yeah, with David. What's the biggest date you girls went on together? Like mm. the biggest date. I remember we was with uh, girlfriends of David and also one of the girls that he was trying to meet, we was like almost 20 there. 20 girls? Yes, we was at the date. gringo. We was at the gringo. We take some pictures outside the restaurant. Wow. Remember? And I also saw the picture and I was like, oh my God, oh my God how many girls? 20 girls on a yes, date? It was like uh, the... the, the um, The, the girls that was in my school, like in my. <laughs> oh my God. Yes, yeah, in my school. I was like, it's, it's almost my school. <laughs> That's cr So, how does that work? How do 20 of you girls go on a date at one time? Like, I mean, all of us know how is the dynamic, and it's like just chill. We so talk, we Giant movie, dinner yes. table. Yeah. How do you all get there? The, the table and stuff. Yeah, like how do you get to the restaurant? Do you all just meet at the restaurant? Yes, uh, sometimes we come to his house and we. Go to the restaurant, sometimes just meet in the restaurant. So always, always I have to call before, like, hey, you have a table for these too many people. Almost. <laughs> yeah, so we're going on a date of 20 girls. 20 girls. <laughs> 20 chicas. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Um, yes. So how do, you get, how do you get to the restaurant? Ubers or, like? Yes, Uber. Wow. All right. Yeah. Call it Uber. And always, pay, he pay for the cars. Oh, always. wow. He pays for the cars. What a nice guy. Like, yes, he always does. What a nice guy. That's crazy. All right. So... That's, that's really interesting. So, um, David told me about his rules. What are, what are the David rules? ¿Cuáles son las reglas de David? No drugs. No prostitutes. Don't be late. Replay faster. Uh, no jealous girl. No uh, striker, just buy. And... Also, no boyfriends. Oh, I mean, girls oh, who has yeah, bo yeah. boyfriend, she's like, hey, I have boyfriend, but I want to meet you. He's like, dude. Okay. So no boyfriends, bisexuality, no prostitutes, no drugs, always be on time. Does boyfriend Honest. include like seeing other guys? No. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> exclusive. Uh, but I don't know if I understand, but... We can, for example, if the girls have like dates outside, it's okay. I mean, mm. if a girl have a boyfriend, the thing here is no problems. I mean, this is always about to enjoy. This is always about to have a good time. If a girl have a problematic boyfriend, they will be a problem, you know? Mm -hmm. So if maybe, for example, when I was one of the girlfriend, I, I was dating sometimes on Tinder, but also I was spending time with him. But he don't have problem with that. I mean, there's no guy to come to fight with him for that. No, nothing. But girls with boyfriend or managers, angry managers and stuff like that. It's like, no. Just no boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. 
When you, when you say managers, what, what do you mean by managers? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we have before one girl that she's a webcam, and she was like okay. the girlfriend of one of these managers of Webcam Studio. Okay. And this girl didn't tell David. And then this guy was sending really bad messages for him. And oh, no. Yes. Like threats and violence. Yes. Was That's and scary. Yes. Crazy. What happened to that girl? We just black, and I told her, like, hey, let what? this guy alone because it's your it's your fault i mean you don't was honest and yes and we moved david apartment <laughs> okay wow yes, for his security yeah wow that's crazy i love that you're, you're like his personal concierge for everything you're like move his apartment translate for him sometimes i feel like his mom <laughs> when i cook it for him <laughs> oh my god that's crazy that's insane wow <laughs> I definitely gotta hit the block button more <laughs> often. Yeah, me too. Me too. Oh my god. Um, Book. So, <laughs> so a lot of the girls you guys have like um, a, a lot of the girls in Dave's girlfriends are like OnlyFans models or webcam models and stuff we like that. We love the webcams. They're cool. so open mind. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. So I, I I heard because Cali is like the webcam capital of Colombia. Is that true? I think el me está diciendo que él cree que Cali es la capital de los modelos web. Yo creo que es Medellín. 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 Oh, yes, Medellín I is? think that Medellín is okay. more. Like okay, but there's there's still a lot of girls in, in Cali who do because like I'm from Canada. Even in Canada, there's tons of girls in Canada. Muchas chicas uh, tienes OnlyFans. Is, is the same here? Que aquí varias chicas tienen OnlyFans y que también me dice que varias chicas en el grupo pues hacen webcam y todo el cuento. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've dated tons of girls who who do OnlyFans. So the question is. Um, do you guys all do OnlyFans together? And does David always ask you guys, you girls, for permission before posting you girl, your girls? Me está preguntando que si nosotros hemos contenido todas juntas con David y que si él nos pregunta o nos pide permiso para montar todo, las fotos y todas esas cosas. Sí, igual. Yes, he always asks for that. I mean, he takes pictures and everything, and he's like, hey girls, can I post this? And I mean, even if he's OnlyFans, there's no like specific pictures stuff like that it's okay. always in our, our only fans oh. and even in the rules say that he always asks for permission wow okay wow it, it just sounds like this honestly this this whole dynamic just sounds like so fun and so happy yeah so crazy seems so healthy. all the details he he always take care of all the details to make the harmony and it's like little by little we just he find out careful. what we need to make uh the girls to know so it sounds like, yeah, everyone's very happy and it's very healthy and everyone gets along and all the girls are friends and everything's good. And it's like a giant yes. party. I mean, it isn't no, like always like a Disney movie or something. Okay. We have uh, hormonal time. I mean, sometimes the girls are just like, you know, in the mood to go out. They okay. are not in the mood to be in the pictures. Uh, okay. No, don't want to talk or just, but nothing uh, real, like a big deal. All right. Yes. Cool. All right. Do you have any other questions? No, is that everything's good? What's well, your time? Good. Yeah. We're good. We're probably at 45 minutes. All right, girls. Muchas, gra muchas gracias por venir. Thank you girls so much for coming. Um, it, was, it was very fun. This is very crazy. And this is a very like unique perspective. <clears throat> you know, can, uh, can gonna, you just, yeah. gonna grow more. Yeah, it's crazy. I, I can't wait to see what happens from here. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, guys, that, that's it. If you guys, um, so what, what are your Instagrams again? Everyone can go follow you girls uh, or your OnlyFans or your Instagrams. Oh, let's tag behind the, sure. the YouTube because yeah, okay. when they say the numbers in Spanish, they will know. Okay. okay. We'll, we'll <laughs> tag sure. them in the description. Sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll put it in the description. Yeah. So and we'll, we'll do like little pop-ups on their faces so you guys can go, well, actually, go follow I, I have a, I have a question for Justin. Yep. So after talking to Veronica, yep. what, are the, what are the some of the lessons that you learned that you can implement in your dating life? Whoa. I, I almost feel like I'm a little bit toxic. So I'm <laughs> muy, muy toxico con chicas. Muy oh. toxico. And, and uh, I, I almost feel like <laughs> I have to be less toxic because like it just seems so healthy and like happy. But why do you think that you're toxic? I want to know why. Because it's fun. Muy divertido. <laughs> but why do you, do, do you think it's, it's toxic? I, don't, I, like, I mean, can, can I say something yeah, that sure. I think is... Bueno, algo que yo he descubierto de Justin que yo lo he pillado varias veces es que él, por ejemplo, invita a una chica por Tinder y le dice vamos a tal discoteca. Y después invita a tres más y las junta a todas. Como que, hola. Y entonces cuando llega le dice, hola, ella es mi novia. O ah. es mi nueva esposa. Y luego llega la otra amiga y le dice, hola, ellas son mis amigas. Y la vieja que acabó. <risa> <risa> Como yo, ¿dónde vine a dar? Así, tal, tal. 
Okay, we're not saying Spanish. Wait, what, were, you, were you saying Spanish? I, I was saying English. Okay. Okay. I see, uh, like, too many times that you, for example, invite a girl, and you act like, hey, she's my new girlfriend, <laughs> and she's my wife. She's my new wife. <laughs> and then you bring, like, two dates more for Tinder, and then you show <laughs> so normal the two girls more, like, hey, they're my friends. And the girl's like, in shock. Like, maybe she was thinking to go in a day only with you, but I don't know how you do, but at the end of the day, you make their kissing each other. I mean, it's really crazy. When he's, I was like in a, for Take example, a video of it. This, for example, this, yes, the video. Uh, this last disco has a name. Um, la última discoteca la que fuimos, que era con cosas La Over. La Over. The Over. You bring two girls, different. They don't know each other, and I was like, "Oh my god!" And I was there, like trying to help, like to see what happened, even with the other students with David. And in a moment, like two hours later, they was like kissing, and you were filming, like bisexual of the past. This is the future. How would they do? Bisexual is the future. Yeah, I, I made a, I made a post saying bisexuality is a f up and coming industry, and it's gonna be the backbone of our economy. <laughs> So yeah, so, um, <laughs> yeah, that's no, ridiculous. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's because I throw a lot of parties. So for me, it's very normal. The girls feel like very comfortable with me in like a party setting and then with each other. But um, yeah, so yeah, but that's the thing. I feel like I'm very, because yesterday I did the same thing yesterday with two girls and they were both just like kind of upset. Like one of the girls was like, I thought we we're going on a date. I thought we we're going to know each other. I think, I think that's your personality. You like to make things Interesting, and he likes to, to see steer, the steer water's the pot. fire. I mean, yeah, he likes that. He, like he sees a he fire, like, he throws more gas yeah, in it. Exactly. <laughs> it's like I, I want to see how this burns. That's it. <laughs> Let's fuck down. Let's do it, and I will feel man. He I'm does gonna... that with the girls I'm seeing. <laughs> yeah, I, I do that because Matt, Matt tiene cinco novias or diez novias in Canada. Mm. Okay, pero is is no, it's not like uh, but not together. It's like soltera, soltera, soltera. You know. Just date, no yeah. girlfriends. Really. No, no, they're like they're they're kind of like all girlfriends, Being but easy. separately. And they know about but each other. They know other? each other, but none of them are bisexual. None of them are bisexual. And they agree. Uh, That's they, insane. They have no choice because they're in love with Matt. They are, they're all like just in love with him, right? O sea, básicamente me está diciendo que él tiene cinco novias, las cinco saben de la existencia de la otra, ninguna son bisexuales y que todas están de acuerdo porque están perdidamente enamoradas del tipo. O sea, el Casanova mayor. Pero es muy triste, es muy triste. They're always fighting, there's drama, they're climatic. You don't like to live in peace? I mean... I want to live in peace. Yeah, so I think what I've learned from this... You know what you need? A hard and a bisexual girl. I agree. Yeah. yeah. I feel like me well, and Matt, we should create like a sh it's, shared It's tricky because uh, I am not into orgies. Yeah. Yeah. Matt no gusta. No te gusta? No. no. Te Why gusta not? Orgy. Matt no gusta orgies. Oh. Why? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> but it's... I, I don't know. <laughs> No, pues es que está haciendo básicamente lo mismo, ¿no? O sea, igual él, él siempre va a tener su intimidad con sus mismas mujeres. No va a haber otro hombre por medio, siempre va a ser él. Pero en no Orgen necesariamente no tiene que haber hombres, puede ser todo. Por las eso mismo, con él. por eso mismo le pregunto, está haciendo casi lo mismo, solo que por separado. Yes, ok. It's <laughs> uh, it's, it's a work in progress. Maybe you need a uh, sis assistant. Crazy. All right. Yeah, but what, one thing I've learned here is like just make the dynamic healthier. Uh -huh. Because I have a few girlfriends in Canada and they're they're like bisexual. But first, if you want a healthy dynamic, mm -hmm. you need to be healthy first. For I sure. mean, you don't need to be toxic <laughs> because <laughs> David is so healthy all the yeah, time. Dude, he always David's wants pretty... like in calm. Like when yeah. he has, for, for example, trouble, it's, it's, it's really funny for me. Huh? It, look how he solved the problem. He's like, okay, how are you doing? How you feel? What's the pro? Like that. He's well, always like Just, that. Justin's the type of guy that everything's healthy, then he gets bored, then he sends a girl a text saying, I hate you, <laughs> or yeah. something. Or like, or like, why don't you love me anymore? <laughs> Out of nowhere. Just create drama. Se me es así como re... Re tóxico, o sea, es como que les escribe ¿Por qué no me amas yeah. nunca más? O le dice, te odio y las bloquea de un momento a otro O sea, la, la revolución, le encanta el drama Le encanta ver el mundo arder, básicamente yeah, like, Last night, I texted like five of my ex-girlfriends Saying, I miss you Ay, no. 
no. Te Anoche le escribí a cinco veces y te la extrañaba. You are toxic. Yeah. Me voy a ir. So nice. This is for me. It's like the, the future meme. It's like text your ex you miss her to interrupt her healing process. That's so fucked up. <laughs> But you know, here in Colombia, we have like a, a way to say, expression, mm -hmm. and say, a todo marrano le llega su diciembre. I'm what, what does that mean? Uh -huh. I mean, the, the, the translate, the exactly translate is like all the pigs, like the pigs, we have the December where they will eat in. Oh, know. shit. So right. that means yeah. that right, okay. now you are playing with too many girls and play with your ex-girlfriends, mm. but wait, because <laughs> we'll be one girl who makes you calm down. Uh -oh. <laughs> that always happens. All right. <laughs> well, guys, <laughs> I think that's it. I think that's it for today. <laughs> Uh, thank you girls so much for coming. Gracias, Gracias por venir. venir. Mm. And uh, we'll, we'll see you guys next time.